It's the moment of solution. There is an answer. Welcome to the moment of solution which comes to you every week on Tuesdays. It's my prayers today that the enduring mercy of the Lord with which we had an experience last week will continue to do wonders in our lives in Jesus name. And so the topic I'm going to be discussing with us today is His mercy does wonders. His mercy does wonders. And our Bible passage is from Psalm 136 verse 4. Psalm 136 verse 4 to him who alone doeth great wonders for his mercy endures forever his wonders were relevant to bringing out the children of israel out of egypt to the promised land israel had given up and were only sighing in the midst of bondage and oppression until the mercy of god wrought wonders in egypt and brought them out in Exodus chapter 2, verses 23 to 25, the Bible makes us to understand that the king of Egypt died, the children of Israel sighed by reason of bondage, and they cried, and their cry came up unto God by reason of that bondage. And I pray for someone who is listening to me at this moment, as you cry unto him, as you pray unto him, your cry will ascend to the throne of grace, and the Lord will answer you in Jesus' name. Because the Bible says God had their groanings. Whatever be your groanings, whatever you are calling upon the Lord for, He will answer you today in Jesus' name. God looked upon the children of Israel and He had respect unto them. When God begins to respect your experience, it means your experience has gone to a point that, I mean, it's humanly becoming impossible. But God steps in. He will step in on your behalf in the name of Jesus. And the Lord makes us to understand concerning the children of Israel in Exodus chapter 11 verse 9 to 10 that Pharaoh will not answer Moses that his wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. What are some of those uh, wonders that God wrought in the land of Egypt that he might deliver his people on account of his mercy? One specific one that comes to my mind is the fact that the Bible says there was palpable darkness darkness that could be felt that could be touched in the land of egypt but in a place called the land of goshen where the children of israel were there was light and i speak to somebody that is expressing darkness right now receive the light of god in jesus name our god in his mercy rots wonders and you will experience that wonder in the name of jesus when Moses was talking about the wonders that God did in Egypt, in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 34, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 34, he made it known that God went into another nation, which was Egypt, and he brought a nation out, which was Israel, by temptations, by signs, by wonders, by war, by a mighty hand, by a stretched out arm, by great terrors, according to all that the Lord did in Egypt. And that tells me one thing, whatever it will take for God to intervene on your behalf, God is not lacking in ammunition. His mercy will wrought wonders in your life in Jesus' name. Because the Bible tells me that He does wonders without number. No limitations to His mercy. No limitations to His, to his wonders. No wonder the Bible tells us that His, his, mercy, his mercy is new every morning. Yes, that is mercy does not preclude you from receiving today's mercy. Job chapter 9 verse 10. Job chapter 9 verse 10 says, Our God does great things past finding out, yea, and wonders without number. So there is no point that God will say, Oh, I've done enough wonder in his life, or I've done enough wonder in his situation. No, his wonders are without number. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 to 23 says, It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. His compassions fail not. 
they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness and so if he so i mean if he does wonders by virtue of his mercies you must praise him for his wonders that he might do more psalm 107 verse 31 says oh that men will praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men israel praised him when his wonders led them out of the red sea in exodus chapter 15 verse 11 so who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? So his holiness, his praises, culminating what? In his wonders. In his wonders. All because he's a merciful God. When you look at the story of uh, Nebuchadnezzar, the story of Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel chapter 4, verses 2 to 3, you see Nebuchadnezzar saying, <laughs> I have experienced the mercies of God. I have experienced the wonders of God. What happened to him? He was warned. He didn't take to that warning. And on a day that God was going to release judgment upon him, he was sent to eat grass like an ox for seven years. But brethren, in the midst of that, because of the mercy of God, that God's word may be fulfilled in the life of Nebuchadnezzar, he did not lose his kingdom. Brethren, that is mercy. In, a, in an environment where people will be eager to pounce on what he had because he was absent, God still kept that kingdom for him. And so when Nebuchadnezzar got back to his senses, he said, I, in Daniel chapter 4, verse 2, I thought it good, Daniel 4, 2 to 3, to show the signs and wonders that the high God had wrought towards me. How great are his signs, how mighty are his wonders. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and his dominion from generation to generation. So the mercy of God ensured that when God wrought his wonders in the life of Nebuchadnezzar, his kingdom was kept secured for him. What of Daniel? What of Daniel? God's mercy upon Daniel in Daniel chapter 6, verse 26 to 27, we see that God kept Daniel in the lion's den. His mercy ensured that the wonders of God were wrought in his life to the extent that Nebuchadnezzar made it, or the king made a decree that in every dominion men tremble and fear the God of Daniel. He said, for he is the living God and steadfast forever and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. His dominion shall be even to the end. He delivered and rescued he walked signs and wonders in heaven and earth who had delivered Daniel from the powers of the lions. That is a wonder of God that demonstrates his mercy. And I pray for someone who is listening to me, God will have mercy upon you. Not only will he have mercy upon you, by virtue of that mercy, he will wrought his wonders in your life. What greater way than looking at a very unique mercy of God is his mercy in creation his mercy in creation the bible says in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth the earth was now genesis chapter one verses one and two the earth was without form and void darkness was upon the face of the of the of the earth and the spirit of god moved to and fro before it got to verse three that he began to say the bible says and god said let there be light and there was light when you look at the sequence of creation you will see that God created everything that man will need before he created man. Brethren, his wonders in creation. He began to say, let there be, and there was. Let there be, and there was. And I speak to somebody's life today. God's word will come into your life. And his creative powers will manifest in your situation in the name of Jesus. Then that his mercy might be demonstrated. When he had created the water, the sea, the stars, the light, the moving creatures, and he has released blessings on the fifth day, then he said, let us make man in our own image. Everything that God, man will need, God had created. Before the Lord said, let us make man in our image, that he might do what? Have dominion over the creation. God ensured that the provision of man was perfected before he made man. In like manner, wherever you are, 
whatever your situation, the merciful God has already made all that you need to excel in that situation. You need to key into his mercy. You only need to stop looking at your circumstances and your situations and look unto God. The Bible says looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. If he could create all that man needed before he made man, and upon creation of man, he released blessings upon him. I want to assure you, all that you need has been created and his blessings will avail for you. And you will continue to enjoy not only the wonders of God, but the mercies of God in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to pray, pray together at this moment. And I hope that you have given your life to Jesus. Because if you are not born again, the first mercy that you need is the mercy of salvation. Say with me in this moment. Say, Lord Jesus, I know you died for me. I know you rose again on the third day. I know that your death for me on the cross of Calvary was an extension of your mercy. I need your mercy, Lord. Come into my life. Take control. I yield it all unto you from this day and onwards in Jesus' name. Amen. Now pray with me. Pray with me, brethren. Say, Father, have mercy upon me. I want to experience your wonders in every area of my life. I want to experience your wonders in all ramifications of my life. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Extend your wonders unto me. You did it to Daniel. You did it to Nebuchadnezzar. Have mercy upon me, Father. Extend your wonders unto me in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer with all the zeal in you. Have mercy upon me, Father, and extend your wonders unto me. That is number one. Number two, you are going to pray and say, Father, have mercy upon me and let me experience your creative wonders. Let your creative miracles begin to manifest in my life. In the name of Jesus. You can go a step further and say, Father, make me an instrument of creative miracles. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Make me an instrument of creative miracles. In the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me, Father, and make me an instrument of creative miracles. Finally, you are going to pray and say, Father, have mercy upon me and let me make my, the heavenly home gloriously, triumphantly. Let me not miss my place in eternity. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Let your mercy avail for me. Let your name be glorified in my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this moment of solution. It's my prayers that the mercies of the Lord in all its ramifications will avail for you and you will praise God eternally in Jesus' name. See you next week, next week on the moment of solution. God bless you. Thank you for watching the Moment of Solution. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like. God bless you.